Hello, welcome back to here with me. I am Aziza, and today I have some small mailbox goodies that I have been collecting for several months, and um, they are now here with me. And they're small because they are nibs, but they're actually not small. They're actually pretty, pretty big nibs. Now, you will know that I like broad nibs, and you will also know that I'm slightly insane. And when the opportunities presented themselves to acquire these nibs, I did not even bother resisting. So, enough ado. I mean, no more, without further ado, that's what I was trying to say, not, I don't, I don't know what came out. Um, I will give you a preview, and that preview is this. Ah, and let me show you each one. So let's start with the least exciting, okay? The least exciting is a Pelican M600 nib, which also fits on the 400. And this is a double chick, 14 karat OBB. Oh, BB. No, is that weird? Yes, it is weird. Um, oh my God, look, look at this. Look at this white hair, my friends. I am not going gray. I am going like white, so that's scary. Um, who knows what I'm gonna look like in five years or even next year because this wasn't here last year. So anyway, yeah, that's the M600. It is a two-tone, it is an OBB. I know you don't really care about my blabber. You just wanna see what it writes like. So let me show you the next nib. <sighs> the next nib is a Pelican. M800. Look at that. That is sh super schmexy. Um, it is also a two-tone. It is an 18 karat oblique triple broad. Ooh. Okay, I'm weird. But seriously, I really, really loathe that companies are discontinuing these like crazy nibs. I know. I know they're ridiculous. I know that realistically nobody needs to write with an o 03B, but who needs more than one pen? Like, I have more than one pen. I don't need them, but I thoroughly enjoy them. And if I'm going to thoroughly enjoy them, I want to thoroughly enjoy the nibs that are on them. And please, Pelican, hear my plea. And the plea of so many others, do not get rid of these nibs forever. Like, please bring them back. Okay, enough my chit chat. Last one, and maybe the most exciting. Like, seriously, I, I'm i excited just that this is in my hand. This is a, um, this is the M1000 version. It's also two-tone, it is also a double chick, it is also 18 karat, and if you cannot tell by that massive nib, tip. This is an Opaly triple broad as well. Ooh, yeah! Oh, make it broad! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So these are the two oblique triple broads with each other. Um, this one is the M1000 version. So, just, like, that's all. This is my mailbox goodies. I saved for quite a bit to acquire these and they were totally worth it. And yes, I know you can get a new pen with a new nib and everything for like the price of one, well, depending on the pen and stuff, but um, this was worth it for me because I'm not a pen collector, but I do like unusual nibs and I'm not on a mission to collect every single nib out there, but if it is affordable to me and um, if it's something I think I'll really enjoy, then I'm gonna go for it. And I did. So. Those are the three nibs that I got. I just happened to put them on these three bodies. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, nibs. Uh, okay, so let's, I'll do a quick writing sample. Let's turn the camera down and I will see you in a minute. Uh, okay, hello friends. Uh, we've got a look at these pens. I know you just saw me like a second ago. So let's just do a quick writing sample just for fun. This is not a formal review, like a full review or anything. Um, this is just to play around and see what's going on. Okay, so this is the Pelican M600 OBB. I'm gonna pull my sleeve up so I don't oil the paper too much. Um, so I'm going to write M600 OBB. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just doing some scribbles. Hello. Hello. Jello. Um, good flow, super pretty. Because it's an OBB, oblique, you can rotate. I mean, that's the idea is that it's rotated. So that's all. Let's just leave it at that because this is not a comprehensive review or anything. As I said, it's just for fun. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little. Let's do the M800 next. I'm still on the fence about the ocean swirl, but it's growing on me. There's the nib up close if you wanna take a peek at it a little bit. 
So we've got the M800, sorry, that was the O3B. Uh, as for the inks, I really don't know what they are. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I, I'm i thinking this one was Mont Blanc Unicef Blue. I'm guessing that this is Robert Oster Blue C, but I cannot promise, so sorry. Um, so that was dried out a little bit, but that's okay. I do not care, still love it. Um, yeah, looks like a Blue C to me. The drawing was whatever. I really don't care what happens. Um, so I don't think I lined that up, did I? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to be looking at the nibs. So yes, it is very serious nibbage. It is very broad. It is probably unrealistic that you could use this in a work setting, but whatever. I enjoy them and I don't care. So the last but not least is the M1000. O three B. Let me just. I'm gonna hold the page down because it's popping up. Hello, Jello. This is um, Peve Ackerman Deep Down Water Blau. I actually knew that one. This is a ridiculous nib. Like, okay, it's. I understand. I know it's ridiculous. I fully accept that it's ridiculous, and I am 100% happy about it. So. That is all. I just wanted to give you a quick snippet of the writing just for fun, because why not? Um, thank you guys for watching. If you found this fun, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And if there's anything else you want to see, just leave me, uh, leave me a comment and let me know, okay? And I will see what I can do about accommodating your requests. And I will do my best to make it fun and lively, and that's all. So again, this was not a review, just for fun. Um, hopefully you enjoyed yourselves, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye!